I've been a health freak for so long. I train every day. I've been doing. Uh, look, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't have a, a fancy story for you. Like you know, I was struck down with a heart disease or cancer, or I was like fat. You know, I'm slim or some of those stories. Usually here on stage, I don't have that because I was always fit and lean and and, and sporty, athletic. I've been training and competing my whole life. But as I said, fit is not healthy. And that was a very good question because I was fit, but not really so healthy. So I was eating all rubbish because I trained so much when I was young. You know, a young body forgives a lot more than when you turn 30, 40 and beyond. So you, you know? What I've seen is when I used to go to the gym or on an exercise pattern. Yeah. So it's not that I don't exercise in a sense, but what happens at a point is you, if you don't go and exercise, you feel weird and you think that that's the only thing which is important and after that you'll be fine. So that mentality, uh, enforcing that mentality is probably not good, is it? Yeah, yeah, you have to obviously, you're going to hit on mindset very soon, I have to on my list too. So mindset, positive thinking, mindfulness plays a big role as well because everything is in the mind they say and they, they're right. Now my good old friend Buddha, remember Buddha? He was once asked uh, if he can summarize all his wisdom, his knowledge and experience in one sentence or maybe even one word. And guess what he said? What's the answer? No idea? He said, now. The magic word is now, boys. And if you don't change right now, right now, not tomorrow, and the after tomorrow, and then we go back to normal and nothing happens. Now we have to do stuff, guys. We have to implement some habits. There is obviously a lot of, uh, a lot of books being written on habits and, and habit, different methods like habit stacking and um, maybe have a, uh, James Clear, who wrote Atomic uh, Habits, and I saw him a couple months ago in Sydney, he came over for a gig uh, to present to us. Habits, you have to build habits, and habit stacking is pretty much, you put on a few habits they're good already, you put some good ones on top, they call it habit stacking, so you can't forget, right? so you make it part of your life, like brushing your teeth. Nobody probably goes out of house in the morning without brushing their teeth. So you can probably say, I brush my teeth, and after I brush my teeth, I go for a run. So you kind of connect those two things. Make sense? That's called habit stacking. But yeah, so coming back to Buddha and doing it now, you really guys, you have to, you have to kick in. And you don't, just, don't just listen to me now, yeah? And, and, and say, all oh, right, all right, okay, that's all cool. But then tomorrow, you're not gonna, you're not gonna do anything. Um, keep going. Is health, what is health? Is health just, just the absence of illness? No, no, much more, much more. As I said, you know, you have to understand when you go on that path, you, ex you pretty much improve every day. Like the Japanese do, you know, they improve 1% improvements. Kaizen, call it Kaizen, you probably heard about it. And that's how we have to see um, how, how we have to approach life. Who's actually happy with their performance at work, in life? Anyone really happy with the energy levels of the day? You get maybe tired sometimes, and the sugar kick, and all that. I know you do. Because so I've worked with so many people, guys. I've worked with a couple thousand people, so and I have never seen any difference. So I know how human work and how they function. It's, it's pretty much the same game we're in. We get very lazy over time, and we do the same thing. That counts, you know, for, for your management and for yourself, you're all humans. You all have those days where we feel down. And I don't, I don't feel working out every day either, but on the days where I don't feel and I go, that's the one that makes me stronger. You see? That's really um, where, where the rubber hits the road, guys. I've traveled the world. I've been hiking in the Amazon, in Alaska, in South Africa. I've been uh, to 35 countries. So I've seen the world, guys. I've seen a lot of stuff. And that as well made me the person I am today. So make sure you work hard and save up some money so you can go traveling. One more thing, 5%, less than 5% achieve lasting success in life. And it's the same with health. So we don't want to be in the 95%. We want to make sure we're in that 5% bracket, guys. Super important, you know. We don't want to do what the masses are doing just to fit in, and that's probably you know, a problem you all have seen or have had in the, in the past, you want to fit in. 
Hence, your environment, which you are with hands here, is very important because you become like your surroundings. That's the biggest impact you have, is the people you hang out with. And um, I want to quickly touch on discipline before we move on to mindset. Discipline, which has helped me obviously all my life, I never gave up on anything. I pushed myself to school, to university, to the army, to everyday training, to competitions, to all the stuff you do along the way, right? So say for instance, you know, I collected a few black belts in different martial arts. Each of them takes a few years. Back then, the older style, I was almost 10 years. Now you can get a black belt much faster because you pay for it and it's all business, right? And then you black belt after two, two years or after three years. So discipline, guys, is super important that you, you work on your discipline muscle. How can we strengthen the muscle? The discipline muscle. Practice. Mm, you see, exactly. Leading by example. And you have to sometimes, you know, self-leadership is health leadership and vice versa. It is a daily grind, guys. It is a daily grind. And your performance really, really, really is, is closely related to your health. If you have headaches all the time, if you feel sluggish and slow, and, and I've seen it all, you know, of course, if, and there is, no, there is you know, no advantage over each size or each age, we all have to work together as a team, guys. You know? And I don't want you to get offended if I just maybe at one stage drop, drop a certain thing or I talk about doctors and they don't, they don't agree with me. Uh, I'm not here to offend anyone. For, for me, the most important thing is, guys, to pass my knowledge on and that wisdom hopefully can change your life as it changed mine. And it didn't happen overnight, guys. I have to work every day on that. I could be big if I want to, easily. You know, uh, it's, uh, I'll give you an example. I, I hold it, uh, I'm holding the Australian record in hard drive fasting. That means no water, no food, and no touch with water. And I went for nine days without water and food. And I only had to break my fast because I was getting too small. I had probably another two, three days left in my tank, but I was getting so tiny, I was down to 57 kilos, which I was last when I was 12 years old. <laughs> but you see, when the body is strong enough, conditioned, it can handle all those things. Now, mindset and resilience, a positive mindset is pretty much all you want. To, you know, to apply or to implement a gross mindset, that's what's so important. That really sets you apart from people who have a fixed mindset. People with a fixed mindset, they always give up. Every, as, as long as everything runs smooth, they fight. Right? They, they're cool. But as soon as something goes wrong, they give up. And they blame others. You, know? you can't blame. You only can blame ourselves. There is no one to blame for anything. We have to take responsibility for our lives, for our actions, for our failure. And attitude, guys, is everything. Attitude is everything. And now, Ralph, I have a quick question. Yeah. Um, with that fasting, right? It's a nine days, no water, no food. Yeah. What was the driver for you to do that? That's a really good question. And uh, look, the first thing is, for me, it was not important to set a record. Because, uh, you know, drive fast and you can really get hurt yourself. So don't try that out, guys. <laughs> that's, that's a long shot away. Um, the main driver was to test myself. It was to improve my health, because when you fast, drive fast, hard drive fast for so long, it equals about 40 days of water fasting. So actually I got a nine days, the same benefits as if I would fast on water for 40 days. So being a little bit um, um, time efficient, I obviously chosen dry fasting. And it really shows, it showed me a lot, a lot of myself because I had to push through every day. Every morning I woke up and, uh, and I said, oh man, I'm alive. Thank you, because I did it unsupervised and unsupported in the middle of summer, which is the hardest time to to uh, drive fast. So yeah, I was to test myself to try dry fasting out and I went straight away, I did a four day and then I went straight away to nine days, which is stupid guys, don't ever do that, this is ridiculous. Yeah, it's like, uh, you have to be a little bit cuckoo um, to, to even do that, but I did. And every time I do those things, they make me stronger as a person. And we're gonna touch on a few things later on, they as well play a role how, how you can get stronger in life. Because you have to build that muscle you know, there are some people you we always look up to. And they, they say, man, you know, those people, they're always successful. They're always, but they have become so strong here. Nothing happens by coincidence. Maybe there's an exception, yeah, but 
Usually it's hard work to succeed in business, to succeed at work, to succeed in sport, in sport, or in, you know, even your family, just being a good dad or mom, you know, it's, it's, it's super cool, you know, to, to um, get that done. And, and strong-minded people, they obviously have a huge advantage, guys. So yeah. routine, the routine is very important, and that's what I gather. Sometimes what happens is that it's what I find challenging. The routine is very boring. You want to do something else than, you know, the daily thing. Uh, and then you can make yourself unhappy because of that. How do you, how do you tackle that? Look, the good news is you can change your mindset. And you have to want it. If you, you know, if you always look for excuses, that's so easy to have excuses not to do it, not to, not to try, not to, uh, you know, uh, show up at work and call in sick or all those things, you know. Uh, it's, it's so easy. It's, don't do what's easy, do what is right. That's so, so I, I find myself like, like, it's important to sleep early, sleep, you know. But yeah. Because I want to be on the mobile phone. Sometimes I, you know, just at okay, 2 o'clock, I'm not sleeping. And then I will sleep and then, you know, so these things, how do you, is it like just mind Good, if you, you want to jump the gun now, and we, we, we jump to sleep, that's okay. For, for, for me, it doesn't matter, you know. We can, we can address those things uh, backwards and forwards because they're not in, in one order. So sleep is, is vital important. If you don't sleep well, if you're on your phone till 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock, how can you imagine or how, how, can you, how can you expect to perform at 7 in the morning when you have to hit you know, the squat and go out and, and, and you know, work with clients and, and do stuff? You obviously... Look, I had three hours sleep this night because I had a gig yesterday night and I had a short notice from, from, from Toby. So I didn't have much time to sleep. But I can handle because of certain things that I've done to my body over time. I wouldn't do it every day, you know. I usually try to get at least six, seven hours good sleep. You know, you can track your sleep now. You have apps on your mobile phone. You can, you can buy sleep trackers and stuff like that. So it's good to take a good look on your sleep. You know, sleeping is so important because if you don't sleep, you don't recover. You don't heal, right? It's, 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 it's the vicious circle. You become more moody and more depressed and more this and this. And you can't, you can't perform on your best if you don't sleep. Mm -hmm. So from today onwards, never ever touch your phone again at night. Put it away in a different room. That's the next thing, guys. Don't have your mobile phone next to you. Have it in a different room because you don't want to have the, you don't want to cook your brain. People always believe I'm the most important person and I, I might have a call at, at 2 a.m. or morning, 1 a.m. or 5 a.m. or whatever. Nobody is going to call you guys. You know, who, <laughs> what do you think? You know who you are, how, how busy and how important. Nobody even gives a dime, guys. We all believe we are super important. Nobody going to call us. So at night when you go to bed, 9 or 10, 11, whatever it is, you take your phone out, you switch it off, you put it outside. You switch your Wi-Fi off because you don't want to have Wi-Fi running while you sleep because it's the same, it's going to cook your brain and you can't recover properly. All devices have to be switched off at night. No TV on, no on remote or whatever, all this stuff, out. Next thing you have to do, pitch black. Your room has to be pitch black, guys. You have to buy, uh, here, you have to buy really black out curtains. They're pretty much pitch black, so you, you close it up and you can't even see your hand anymore. That's the environment you want to sleep in. Everything else, if you sleep like that, we have a, a, a called circadian, circadian rhythm. So that's how we are born, that's how we are all made. Right? Normally, we get up with the birds when the light comes up, six-ish, whatever it is, uh, you know, when the time is changing, when the light is saving, and then we, you know, people get to bed like when the light comes down, which is in summer maybe like eight or nine. Now, it has changed a little bit, and I understand, but we still have to kind of try to live in tune with nature to some degree. And, and make our sleep circles so we actually go to bed before midnight. And so we have to completely pass you right now because you jump to sleep so quickly. I want to show you guys what I do at night. And uh, those little hacks, right? Those little hacks, they're gonna help you a lot. They're like very unknown. Most people don't know that, and it's so simple. The circadian rhythm is obviously based on light. So in the morning when the light comes up, we get up, we see it's light, our body starts, and we keep going. Cortisol is, cortisol is raising, which is good in the morning, we want to have that. At night, when the night, when light goes down, and you know we have to obviously live with artificial light, it's good to have at least the last one or two hours, those guys, they like blue light blocking glasses, 
and they filter out the blue light from the computer and as well from the light from the, we call that junk light. Did you know the term junk light? Junk light is uh, it's actually quite unhealthy for us as well. Uh, we find out even when junk light hits our skin, there's something happening which we don't want. So actually, uh, this is another model, and they only cost you like 20 bucks, I think this one is even cheaper, like 10 bucks something. Right? Pretty cool and fancy. So you can choose which model you like. And then when you have to keep working, which I do as well. So I obviously, I'm not doing everything right. Oh, guess what I do now, guys? I do it again. Changed. Change is good, guys. See you guys tomorrow.